hello student so let us start our tutorial so in this tutorial we will try to go with uh, some numerical examples where we will uh, see that how uh, various instruction execution will uh, take place yes so uh, let us try to uh, subtract the two number let's say uh, plus 127 and minus 128 now uh, if we convert this number into the binary then uh, a will be like uh, 410 and uh, B let us assume that uh, some other numbers are there okay so if we perform the subtraction if you want to perform the subtraction a minus b okay then what will be uh, how we can perform the subtraction so to perform the subtraction uh, uh, we will convert uh, we will take two's complement of b and then we will add it to uh, a okay so right now we are not focusing on plus 127 and minus 128 so we are focusing on this so if we perform the subtraction okay then uh, answer will be uh, it will be one one zero one 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 zero zero okay now as you can see uh, the, the here uh, or the values which we we will get after performing two's complement and addition okay uh, it it is having three plus three plus two means the eight previously it was uh, four plus three plus one seven okay so this bit represent the we can say sign magnitude and uh, the uh, here we are getting the 8 bit answer so what we can say uh, because we are getting carry then carry flag will be set and uh, if the answer we are getting 1 so msb is 1 so in that case uh, sign flag will be also set while uh, overflow and zero flag won't be set okay so uh, here compare instruction update the status bit as short so uh, c will be one because there is a carry out of last stage as we have discussed and sign will be one because the left uh, most bit is one or most significant bit is one while uh, v equals to zero because the last two carrier uh, both are yes so uh, let us try to go with some uh, sign uh, or you can sign sign number so uh, let's say value of a is uh, 240 and value of uh, b is let's say 20 so uh, if we want to subtract uh, b from a then definitely answer will be 220 so the binary result will be uh, you can say double one zero uh, triple one double zero so uh, which is uh, equivalent to decimal 220 since uh, 240 is greater than uh, 20 okay so uh, we have that if a is greater than b and uh, means we are having various conditional branch a greater than b and uh, a not equals to b so in uh, this uh, uh, you can say subtraction or in this arithmetic micro operation these two uh, instruction will cause the branch okay so um, after performing this uh, let's say subtraction uh, value of carry uh, will be uh, set to uh, one and uh, value of zero flag will be set to zero so the uh, this instruction will cause a branch after comparing the branch if uh, higher and branch if higher or equal okay and uh, branch if not equal so if we are using the uh, free instruction let's say uh, branch if higher uh, bhi then branch if higher or equal okay and then third instruction is branch not equal so all these three instruction with this kind of uh, arithmetic operation will result into the uh, branch let's go with some uh, sign number okay let's say uh, value of a is uh, minus 16 and uh, value of b is uh, plus 20 and we want to perform the addition of uh, oh, sorry subtraction of minus 16 and uh, plus 20 okay so uh, normally in decimal we can uh, say the answer answer will be minus 36 so here the value of uh, a, a will be uh, if we go with the two's complement method means negative sign number represented representation okay then it will be one two three four and then 
0.0000. Okay, so which is the two small element of we can say uh, 0, 0, uh, 0, 001 uh, 4 times 0. Okay, so this is A and this is two complement of A. And uh, similarly, uh, for binary, it will be, uh, uh, let's say for second number 20, uh, it will be some uh, same uh, binary conversion. So if we perform the subtraction, uh, and then uh, we will get the answer like this, uh, double one, zero, triple one, double zero. Okay, uh, which is the two's complement of you can say zero zero one zero zero one zero zero. Okay, so uh, this is actually equivalent to uh, thirty six. Uh, so this is positive thirty six. This is negative thirty six. Uh, so uh, based on this, uh, let's say uh, minus sixteen is uh, less than plus 20 so in that case uh, a will be less than b and a not equals to b so this two very uh, relation can also be derived from fact that uh, if sine bit will be set so value of sine bit will be one y because we are getting the negative answer and uh, then uh, z will be set to zero okay so we can say that uh, a is smaller means uh, we are getting answer is negative so a is smaller and uh, a is smaller and b is larger okay so in that case uh, b uh, less than, uh, branch if less than then uh, branch if uh, lower okay uh, then less than or equals or uh, then uh, b any means branch if not equal will take place okay so uh, this is how uh, it will work just uh, remember that uh, b any and uh, means branch if not equal and uh, b and z branch if not zero so uh, both are same okay similarly the two instruction uh, branch equal to be branch means if equal and then uh, branch if it is uh, zero uh, they are also same so each of this repeated uh, three times in table uh, whatever we have discussed in previous video so it should be obvious that uh, relative magnitude of two unsigned number can be determined from the uh, values of status bit carry and uh, zero and relatively uh, relative magnitude of two signed number can be determined using is I mean sign bit overflow flag and z okay so uh, for uh, unsigned number we will go with the c and z means carry and zero and for signed number we will go with the sign uh, then overflow and then uh, zero Okay, so some computer consider uh, carry uh, to be a borrow bit after the subtraction a minus b. So borrow does not occur if a is greater than b. So uh, the condition for borrow is complement of the uh, carry obtained and when the subtraction is done by taking two's complement of b. Okay, so for this reason processor that consider carry bit to be uh, borrow after subtraction will complement the c bit after adding uh, Two's complement of subtend hand and uh, denote this bit as a borrow. Okay, so after performing the addition and uh, then again taking the complement of uh, that same bit, uh, that will be uh, the carry bit which will be considered. Okay, so uh, in this video uh, we will uh, keep up to this. So in next video uh, we will start our discussion with subroutine call and return. Thank you.